All right, I'm back again with another video. Um, and this one I'm going to try to get up through the Varia suit after the fight with Kraid. Uh, so you've just gotten your bombs. And now you got to fight this idiot. Bomb Terizo. I like to stand, like, in line with this blue line and then morph and then kind of roll into him as soon as the fight starts and he'll jump back and he'll shoot out these little balls so uh, while he jumps back you want to shoot him five times with your beam shot one two three four five and then start trying to farm these things for missiles see if I can actually do it well one two three four five oops One, two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh. And after you shoot him, it's actually kind of hard to talk and say at the same time. Or so you're going to shoot him five times with your beams. Then you're gonna shoot up to farm those little uh, balls he shoots out. And then you're gonna pick up some missiles. And then you need to hit him with seven missiles to finish the fight after you've shot him five times with your beams. Uh, after four missiles, he'll do this little, like, exploding animation where he's invulnerable. So you wanna, like, there's a weird timing to having to shoot him anyway, like he has like an invulnerability, uh, uh, invulnerability period after each shot. Um, so that's one thing you have to get used to, like if... See, not all those these shots are hitting him. Everything has to kind of be timed. So, one, two, three, four, five. See, after the fourth one, he did that exploding. You can also back up and get him to roll back again. Now, if you don't set up the fight right with your beams. Say so I shot him only four times. Then he's gonna do this thing where his head flies off, and that wastes a little bit of time. So that's why you want to sh only shoot him five times. One, two, three, four, five. That way you can finish him off with missiles. Now, usually you won't finish the fight with full health and ammo like I did here, so you'd want to sit back and shoot the door and then run through and collect some drops on your way through the door. Oops. Through here, just arm pump, angle up, shoot the door, come up here, and run through. Um, in this room, if you're quick, you can beat this guy right here, like that. You might need ledge grabs to do that, but if you're quick, you can beat him up here. And then we have Alcatraz. This is the biggest pain in the ass thing for a beginner to learn. Uh, <laughs> it has a pretty notorious reputation among noobs, so obviously if you don't want to bother with this, you can just go the intended way up here and just bomb out this stuff. It's only like 8 seconds slower 
which isn't a huge deal if you're a beginner, and then run over here. Um, but if you want to learn Alcatraz, the thing you gotta know is, first of all, you want to wall jump low on these walls. See how low I'm wall jumping? Especially when you get up here, because if I wall jump high, I'm gonna hit my head. Uh, similar to wall jump at the beginning of the climb. Um, you don't want to hit your head, you want to be able to get, oh my gosh, up through here. And then again, you probably want to all jump low here to give yourself time to do the morph. Um, now the main key to Alcatraz that a lot of people miss or don't understand at first is that you want to hold jump out of that third wall jump. That way, you only have to press down once to morph. You get like a morph wall jump like this. Um, if you let go of jump, you're gonna have to press down twice like this and have to enter this down animation and then morph. And that's going to make it way harder, if not impossible, um, because the morph has to come out very quick. So. like that. So be sure you're holding jump out of the third wall jump. And then after you morph, just uh, kind of roll your thumb to left. Kind of a quarter circle forward thing. Uh, where you kind of go down, down, left, left. And then that quarter circle motion is something we're going to see when we get into mock balling a little bit in this segment. Um, sort of like a fireball motion in Street Fighter or whatever, where uh, you do like a. You come to diagonal after you go to down, and then forward to whichever direction you want to go. And that will likely be hard when you first start, so... If you're not comfortable with it, feel free, there's no shame in doing this. Feel free to come over here and do this stuff. Oops. Come over here. Bomb. Come into this room. This room... It's really dumb, because it's hard to time your shots on these guys. Don't worry too much about it. Grab the E-Tank and try to get those guys out of your way with just regular beam shots. Come into this room. You want to take damage from one of these guys, and your invulnerability frames will carry you through the next guy without getting hit, like that. And, uh, get all the way down to here, come to this room. This room, actually, even though it has these down slopes, they're not actually steep enough to cause you to fall off of them. So you can actually arm pump through this whole room. Jump over these Kago enemies. These guys are called Kagos. Run on through. Grab the elevator. We're down to Brinstar. Just run off this elevator. Try to squeeze between those guys if you can. It's fine if you get hit though, like that. It's like missiles, shoot the store five times. Now here's where we're going to need Mott Ball. And this is the only required Mott Ball in the game. Um, so first thing, you're going to want to jump kind of late through this door. Like if you jump early, you're going to hit your head like I did there. And then I'm not going to be able to jump up to... Uh, up to here. So you want to jump late, like I did there. And 
and you'll, you know, land up here. Now, mockballing. You're gonna want to hold jump the entire time, and you want to press down once in the air. Probably as soon as you can is when it's easiest to do it. Just tap it once, and you'll be in that aim down sprite like that. And then when you hit the ground, you're going to want to do a soft morph into like the quarter circle forward that we talked about. Um, now what is a soft morph? If you see how my morph is smooth with the, like I'm... Um, This contrasts like a hard morph, like that, where I bounce. So if you morph right as you touch the ground, you get this sort of like smooth morph, like that. And that's what you want to do. You want to do that little soft morph, and then after you morph, you want to go to like, in this situation, you would go you morph with down, and then you go to down right right. You kind of roll your thumb through those motions on the d-pad. Hopefully my input display. Oops. Up at the top left helps you understand this. But that's what you're going for right there. If you fall down you can like Oh, or you fail it or whatever, you can grab these missiles. They're right there anyway. I'd probably recommend getting them anyway when you're first starting, because they're, you know, they're right there. Um, and then just leave the room and, you know, retry it. This trick saves a ton of time being able to access supers early, so you can fail this trick like a dozen times, probably, and still save time over having to fight Spore Spawn, because, you know, that's a pretty big out-of-the-way detour that you don't want to have to take. Um, so, morph ball all the way through here, unmorph, shoot up this, and then... I don't know if you can get up here. Yeah, you're you're gonna need to wall jump up here because you can't get to this platform with just a normal jump. So wall jump up here, run over here. Normally, not all these idiots are gonna be in your way. Only if you go really slowly. Kill that guy. Oh, and then I need to explain quick dropping. Oops. Um, so... Actually, I'll just show the reserve for now. Come get supers, and if you're really new to the game, you're probably going to need this reserve to... Uh, get through the game. Like, Fantoon is probably going to give you nightmares if you don't get this Star Reserve. I know in Golden's old tutorial he's kind of like, oh, this is unnecessary. In my opinion, it's very necessary. I know when I was learning the game, I had a lot of trouble without this reserve. Uh, so, come over here, select supers, shoot this door, come through here, and there's your reserve tank. And you can also come under this tube, and here's some missiles. You bomb right here, bomb right here. There's some more missiles. So overall, a lot of a lot of good little goodies back here for you to have. Come back up through here. Um, no, quick dropping. Um, ordinarily when you when I'm gonna pass through these crumble blocks, it's gonna like kill my momentum.
like that. And uh, a way to avoid that is by doing something called quick dropping, where you're gonna wanna turn around as you're falling through the crumble blocks, and it allows you to like go really fast through them like that. It's quite a big difference. Um, generally, we're gonna aim down when we do this because it makes the window bigger for hitting them. So, something maybe worth practicing a little bit when you start. But if you can't do it, it's fine. Just run through the door. Jump down, select supers, because you're going to super that door, and then run through. Now in this room, ideally you can do another mop ball, um, like this. This is the golden mop ball. Um, and the way... The way you do it is, when you get to the bottom of this slope here, you're going to go into the, like one of these full jumps. It's the same as like that early Super Mutt Ball. Go into one of those full jumps, down, do the soft morph, quarter circle forward thing, and uh... Ideally that's what happens. Uh, if you're not comfortable with that, I don't know if there's another way to do the room. Yeah, you could just missile these guys. If you... Be sure you actually got extra missiles though, because if you didn't get any of those extra missiles I showed you, you're not going to have enough missiles to be able to do that strategy. But when you're just starting out and you can't mop ball that well, you know, you could do that too. Bomb out all this stuff. Alright, you want to come through here, angle up, shoot the door, and run through. I do kind of like a stutter to kind of slow myself down. If you just hold and run, you're going to bonk, bonk the door. And, uh, you don't want that to happen like that. Also, whatever you do, do not get hit by these metal screes. Like, they do, what was that, 50 damage? Yeah, that's a, t that's a ton of damage. You do not want to take that damage uh, at this point in the game. So, avoid that. Oops. Come into this room. Fall down through here. You land right here, and then do a full jump. Let me show you what it should look like. Do a full jump, and you'll land all the way down here. Grab your missiles. Fall down here. Grab your charge beam. And now, here, you wanna try and wall jump up. You know, if, you, if you're not really comfortable with your wall jumps, you can just platform up those little steps. Then get up here. Um, now, there's two ways to do this, kind of. Uh, the faster way is to, after you unmorph out of here, jump up here, and then get through like that. Um, Maybe when you first start, though. I know when I first started, uh, doing that quick morph, quick of a morph, because you have to down down pretty quick here to be able to get through this gap. I know that when I first started doing that, it was a little tough. Uh, so an easier way, but slightly slower way, is to do this. Oops. Forgot to make a save state. I guess I can show this stuff again. Is uh, you just hold jump and morph, and then hold right, and you'll go right into that gap right there, which is nice. It's really easy to do. Um, super that door run through. Now this room is probably going to be a little hard. Uh, 
for a beginner to do the best way. Um, ideally you get this... Whoa, I saved kind of late, actually. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let me go back and get a better save. Ideally, that's what happens. You do this mock ball all the way down to here. Now that's probably going to be tough to do. One of the main parts is getting this jump at the beginning, this full jump. You know, it's a pretty tight window to hit that. Um, so if you're not comfortable with that, uh, probably a good strategy is you just fall down and this bug is going to come out and hit you if you just run. So I like to angle up, shoot him, and start holding a charge. And you can kill these side hoppers with a charge shot, like that. Come down here, shoot this, shoot the gate open, switch to missiles, and kill that guy. Oops. This is a pretty easy strategy. And then you want to shoot the door probably about at this while you're passing this plant uh, and hold a charge and you want to oops accidentally pseudo screwed that side hopper that way you can farm this cack attack here um, let me actually show something with this if you're you need to be standing still when you release the charge on this cack attack if you're moving forward, it'll actually fly over his head, so you want to be standing still, and it'll kill him. And that allows you to pick up his super, and then you get on the bridge, be sure you're holding run, don't be a noob. Um, oops. You can release that shot, that shot's kind of a little tricky, probably at first. But as soon as you get to the edge of this, release a charge shot, and you you can kill this keg attack and farm him. Coming over here. You want both these supers, by the way. Because we're going to be getting Spazer, and that requires an extra super. So... You know, even if you miss the charge shot... Oh no, I'll, or no, I didn't mess it there. Wow, I'm bad. I can't even mess it up. Wow, that's actually a really big window. But let's assume you just miss it. You need to kill him and get that super. Um, then come into this room. Here, you're just gonna want to fall down. Okay, now here's the thing. Just like with uh, earlier in the game, if you uh, if you just run off of here, you're gonna clip this platform on the way down. Um, you can skip having to hit it if you do a spin jump. The spin jump's kind of tough to execute though because it's blind. Like you can't see Samus. But you can skip having to hit it with that. Um, when you first start the game, it's probably a good idea to come through here and get this L3 fill. Especially if you're kind of low on health here. Like, uh, maybe if I was first starting the game and I was below, like, 100 health <laughs> or something like that, I would, uh, I would come in here and grab that health refill. Um,. This door, you want to jump through this door, that way you can get all the way to here. If you run through the door, you're gonna land right here, and uh, you can just come all the way, hug the wall, and jump. I like to kill both of those guys, ideally not landing in the spikes like an idiot. Uh, come through here, 
Now here's where we're going to be getting spacer. You want to just aim up, shoot, and do some wall jumps. Though it might be kind of tough when you first start, but there's not really a good way around it. Lay a bomb, and then you can shoot that second block out rather than bombing it. If you bomb it, this is what can happen. Oops, right here, where, oh no, I cleared that next block out and fell all the way down. That's not what you want to happen. So bomb this, shoot the next one, switch to supers. Oops, come through and get spazer. Now I liked to, when I was getting spazer, hold a charge and run through here. Oops, I didn't jump late enough. And you can do like a little mock ball. Like that. You can also do a quick drop there through that crumble block. But you know all that's not necessary. We can just do something like this. And what I'm doing here is... I'm hitting the crumble block while in morph, and then unmorphing after. And allows me to kind of not have to worry about this guy, because I can land all the way over here. Uh, click the guy's super. Jump over here. Now this room, you want to let go of run. And, uh, shoot the door. And then you can almost immediately start holding run again. Right after you shoot. If, uh, you just hold run shoot through this room, you're going to bonk the door before it opens completely. So something to keep in mind. Most players like holding a charge so they can just let go of shoot in this room and open that door right away. That room you can actually hold and run all the way through it. Uh, in this room, switch to supers, shoot out this, come through here. Now, you're gonna need a wall jump here to get to crates layer without high jump boots. Um, The game intends you to go down that elevator there to Norfair and uh, get the high jump boots, but that's a pretty big time loss. So you want to do this wall jump off this edge of this platform right here. Now if you fail it and fall down, uh, instead of having to climb all the way back up here to retry it, you can retry from this step right here actually. I actually might think it's even easier to do it from this step than it is to do it up there. But there's... You know, I recommend doing this, certainly. The, uh, doing it the intended way loses a lot of time, so... It adds a lot of backtracking and stuff that you don't want. Um... But yeah, get up here, shoot the door, and you want to run and jump, and try to turn to the left, like, as... You're hitting the transition here. Miss the wall jump, do the little back up. And that way you can just shoot down twice and kill this guy. Um, if you want to, you can farm those other two guys as well. Fall down through here, bomb. Shoot up. You're gonna get hit by that guy, it's fine. Angle down, shoot this block out, and just fall down here. Select missiles. Missile, missile, missile. Um, usually I recommend a beginner gets like a couple extra missile packs, that way you don't have to worry about your ammo management so much. Uh, top players really have to, you know, you're really pushing your route, and you have to think about what you're doing with your ammo in this room. Uh, but for a beginner player, I think the less you're thinking about stuff like that, you know, the less mistakes you're going to make until you get, you know, used to the game or whatever. Um, so that's one of the reasons I recommend grabbing some of those early extra missiles I showed. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Um, now if you have more than one super like I do here, you can feel free to super mini crate because he's going to drop four for you. Um, 
But if she only had one super, I would want to missile, 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 and then try to missile Kraid. That way I have full supers going into the Kraid fight. Um, if you are really low on health here, it's going to take me forever to get really low on health. Actually, let me run into mini grade. Do not run into mini grade. It is bad. But if you're beeping like I am here... Oh wow, you still gave me... I guess you had to be beeping before you enter the room. But anyways, if you're beeping before you enter this room, grade will drop you all health. So, if that happens, just, um, leave the room, come back, and kill him again to get your full supers. Do not run into mini grade, like you saw, he does a ton of damage. Um, but anyways, kill mini grade, get his supers. Hopefully get to full supers. Run through here. And uh, basically just do that. Super that eye door. Alright. The Kraid quick kill. Now, um... There are two methods to do this. Different players find the different methods easier, or harder, or whatever. Um, the first method I'm going to show is the charge kill, where you know, in the charge kill, it doesn't matter where you stand. Um, whereas with the regular missile kill, it does. And I'll talk about that when I talk about the regular missile kill. Um, but the charge kill, what we're going to do is. With both of them, you want to stay morphed as long as possible, because this room is really laggy. And that cuts out some of the lag when you have Samus morph like this. Um, then we're going to stand up, hold a charge shot. Then I look for when Kraid's hand goes down, I shoot him in the face with a charge shot. And that freezes his hand low and gets him to open his mouth. And then you want to time shooting super into his mouth so that you lock his jaw in place and this uh, this will take some practice to get good with um, let me see if I can show you what it should look like oops wrong button but hold a charge so that's what it should look like um, Now that, the most important thing to time is that first, oops, I laid a bomb. You don't want to lay a bomb. See, that was too late. He opened his mouth wide. His mouth was open too wide when I shot my first super. Let me sh show if I'm doing it too early. That was too early. You know, there's, there's, he sort of has like three different animation frames of opening his mouth. You want to hit him on the second, his second frame of opening his mouth. I keep laying a bomb like an idiot. See, that was the first frame. That's too early. I don't do this method anymore, so I'm quite bad at it now. There it is. And you want to, like, shoot one super on the way up, one super on the way down, one super on the way up, one super on the way down. One, two, three, four. It's kind of the the rhythm you want. Um, now, other people might find that method hard. Uh, some people find it easy. One of the nice things about it is, 
you freeze his hand low, so his hand's never gonna like troll your your supers or anything. Um, the other method is gonna keep his hand active, but uh, I think the other methods may be a little easier to time. I'm not sure, but uh, the other method has a specific position you want to get on this platform, and I have it right here actually, uh, where my back foot. Her foot that's not facing the camera is sort of very slightly hanging off the edge of the platform. And there's a pretty decent window for it. But, you know, it's not a huge window. You can't be, like, all the way back here or all the way out over here. You need to be, like, riding around in this area. And then you're going to select missiles. And then as soon as the fight starts... See, that's what can happen is his uh, hand will come up and block your missiles. Wow. But you want to shoot him in the mouth with two missiles and then three supers to finish him off. Um, that method is actually a couple seconds faster because it lags less because you're not charging up the shot. But, you know, the, the positioning is a little harder, and dealing with his hand moving, being able to shoot above it with your super, with your first super, is uh, probably a little hard. Um, if you miss the crate quick kill, uh, you know... Then he's gonna do this thing where he expands up, and that's fine when you're when you start. I like to hit him, try to hit him with a charge shot or something. Hit him like that, and it freezes his hand low. That way his hand's not gonna get in the way of your ammo. See, I can. That's really nice, being able to charge shoot him like that. Um, another thing, if you get the quick kill, this room's not gonna load completely. You'll be, it'll be like locked like this, and you'll do the right side of the room off camera. It's really kind of weird, but it's not a huge deal. Just come over here, and run through, shoot this, and you've got your Varia suit. So, that does it for this segment of the tutorial. Uh, next one, I will probably go up through getting power bombs uh, the first time up through Red Tower. But uh, thanks for watching this one. Hope it helps.